I'm Jane Austen, Senior Policy Advisor with Save the Bay. I'm here with Eric Hertfelder, the Executive Director of the Fort Adams Trust. Eric, can you tell us a little bit about this magnificent spot? Fort Adams is a monumental structure. It took 33 years to build in the 19th century. It's actually the largest coastal fortification of its type in North America. So it's just, it's just an incredible place to visit. It's right on Narragansett Bay, and you can learn a lot about history here and uh, have fun at various festivals, car shows, music festivals, and it's just a tremendous resource for the state of Rhode Island and for the city of Newport. How long has your group been uh, working on this project? Uh, the Fort Adams Trust is a private nonprofit that's a friends organization to the State Parks Department and Department of Environmental Management. Um, and we were formed in 1994 to partner with them to open the fort to the public, which we did for the guided tours, and to raise monies for its restoration. And since, since 1994, we have raised about seven and a half million dollars through a wide variety of public and private sources to do restoration and stabilization at the fort. And we've covered about uh, 15 to 20 percent of the main fortification uh, during that time. How long was this fort actually in um, active service protecting uh, Narragansett Bay? The, uh, the fort had a very long history in the military in active service, which is one reason why it is in the, the shape that it's in. Many of its uh, peers in the uh, system that was built in the early 19th century are in ruins or have disappeared. Uh, so the fort was in active service actually until the Korean War, served right through World War II, um, and so and the military kept it up and then it was declared excess in the 50s and uh, was transferred in 1965 to the state for a park. That's a wonderful spot. Um, how much of the uh, fort does the public have access to right now? The uh, interior of the fort is uh, open to the public generally only by guided tour because uh, the fort is such a huge place that um, no one has had the resources since it uh, was transferred from the military to the state in 1965 to really fix the entire place up. So we admit the public daily for tours during the season, um, show them the inside of the fort and the outer works and so forth. But that's been our challenge. Uh, the, 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 the park, Fort Adams State Park, is extremely popular. Uh, over a half million people a year visit the park because of right here on Narragansett Bay. Um, and, but we only get about 18,000 people into the fort on guided tours. Um, so our goal is, uh, with, with the bond issue, is to uh, secure the interior openings of the fort along the parade field, which is six and a half acres, uh, to the extent that we can then open the fort and literally let people in. All those people who visit the park can now also come into the fort, walk around the parade field, appreciate the incredible architectural an engineering marvel that it is, uh, uh, recreate, have a picnic, uh, have self-guided tours. And uh, we think the more people that get into the fort and uh, see it will appreciate it and that will uh, help build support for its uh, long-term preservation. I'm Eric Hertfelder, Fort Adams Trust. Please help us open the fort and improve access here at this wonderful structure by voting yes on question four on November 2nd.